then you can start putting in your pictures. So let's say I want to insert a picture. So it's going to be from file. So if we go down here to the drawing toolbar, we can select insert picture, or you can go to insert picture and from file. Then you want to find your picture. So we have the donuts picture we saved, and look at how big that comes in. We need to shrink this picture. So I'm going to shrink that picture. I'm going to bring it up here to the corner because we want a nice big picture here introducing our new donuts. And then right here you can see me. I'm going to spin this a little bit. So it's got a little bit of an angle there. And then we need a couple things. We need to put the title of what we're having. We need to put the price. And then we need a little description box. We can do that in a couple ways. I like to put the price in a little word art. So if you want to pick a word art, I'm going to put the word donuts <coughs> are going to be, uh, let's say... 50 cents each. So I'm going to put in 50 and I actually want to put in 0 0.50 EA for each. And select OK. And now we have that. I'm going to put this right at the top of there. So I'll move that picture down just a little bit, move that right over it. So now we have the price there, and then we want to put in our description and what the product is. Now mostly everyone's going to tell that that's a donut, but we still want to make sure we have that. So we're going to put in our description right here. So again, you want to put in a description, and you want to describe these in a, in a lot of detail. Fresh, fried, fresh dough, sprinkles of your choosing. It could be a custom, create your own donut. Any of these things you want to put in the description. Okay, and I want to just put in description in detail. And now remember, this is size 18 font. When you guys print out a regular paper, uh, that would be that you would read in Microsoft Word. It's always usually 12 points. So we can go ahead and reduce this font size down to 12. It looks really small, but if we zoom in, it is not small at all. So we can kind of move our description right here, and you guys would want to put that all across here. And then somewhere across the bottom here, we can put in uh, what we have. So we could put in like custom donuts or custom created donuts. So I'm going to use Word Art to make uh, our custom created title. So I can select that. I'm going to use this one here. I'm going to do uh, create your own donut. I'm going to capitalize the D. Okay, now that's really big. So we can't have it that big. So we're just going to have to shrink this down to size here. Down to size. Now that's still a little hard to see. So I'm just going to bring this part down kind of across the bottom. And we have our name here. So now that we have that, we can format this. Right click, format word art. And maybe I want this one to be a uh, color that pops. Maybe I want a red and I want a darker outline, maybe a blue or something. Uh, the blue won't. Maybe a dark blue. Let's see what that looks like. Ah, that's nice. That, that pops off the screen. You can see that. Uh, and depending on what font choices you guys have chosen, that should be a pretty good one. So we have our title uh, of the product there. Our description is going to be below it. And then our price is going to be right here as well. And you're going to do the same thing, except in this side, maybe tilting your picture over here. And you want to have all four of your products in the corners or anywhere really on the page. You're more than welcome to do it any way you want. Again, Again, creating the most attractive uh, advertisement you can that would be printed in a magazine or a newspaper as an insert. Okay. Uh, as you finish, make sure you have all of the parts that are required on your sheet and uh, put the finishing touches. I'm excited to see what create, creative ideas you guys come up with and all the really neat products that you guys come up with to sell. Good luck on your projects. Make sure you save as you are going on before you go on to the next part.